Hello and welcome back to another episode on Life Afloat. In today's episode we join Daisy and myself chilling out on the sofa. I thought it was a good idea just to have a little chat with you and let you know what's been going on, what I've been up to and sort of how the week has unfolded really. First of all, I don't know if you can hear in the background, I have got the engine running so I hope that doesn't disturb the audio too much on the video. The solar panels aren't really doing much today and I've got some washing on so um, I thought I'd run the engine just to charge the batteries while the washing machine is being used and I do have my generator of course but there's no petrol in it. I've got a jerry can of petrol in the car but the car is a two minute walk from the boat, it's cold outside and I'm feeling lazy so I've got the engine on instead of uh, going up to the car to get the petrol uh, in order to run the generator so I'm in a bit of a lazy mood today. Oh there we go, let's get comfy. What's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah. So let me give you an update on the safe situation because I know there's been a few people wondering what's going on with the safe. So I have hunted high and low for the key and it just is not on the boat. It can't be on the boat. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do, but I need to figure out a way to try and open it because I do want to check what's in there and I've said to you guys that I'd open it up and we'll, we'll see what's in there together. So that is going to happen, but I'm not quite sure exactly um, when that's going to be because I need to try and figure out how to get into the safe. So anyone out there who happens to be a safe cracker or a lock picker, something like that, um, get in touch, drop a comment below and I'll get in touch with you um, because I need some advice on how to get into this safe. In other news, I have had generator problems. It's been cutting out a lot. Um, just after you start it up, it's been cutting out after a minute or so and it would do that six or seven times before it would run continuously. And it's been running a bit lumpy, it's been quite loud. So I gave that a little service. I cleaned out the air filter, um, checked the oil, the oil was quite low to be honest I'm not sure what's happened to all the oil because as far as I'm aware there's not been an oil leak so it's probably burned the oil off for some reason but anyway the oil was quite low so I've topped that up to the maximum little mark and uh, yeah it's running absolutely sweet now it's much easier to start it's quieter it's running much smoother so I'm very happy with that as you know the weather has been getting quite a bit colder in these last few nights we've had ice on the boat um, so it's been very cold outside thankfully it's been nice and toasty warm in the boat I don't think it's dropped below 20 degrees in here I don't have a temperature thing what do you call it a thermometer I should actually get a thermometer because I'd, I'd like to be able to see what the temperature is outside and inside so what I'm going to do is have a little look and uh, see if there's one with a little wire that I can stick out the window and have on the inside and it tells me the outside and inside temperatures. I'm sure they exist somewhere on Amazon. Um, so I'm going to have a little look, see if I can find one of those. Uh, but I've stocked up on coal, for, well I've got about three weeks worth of coal, um, so that's fine. So when I move from here I will be stopping off and buying some more. Um, but yeah, I've got three weeks worth of coal at the moment, so we're good on uh, heating. For those of you out there who are fans of Daisy, and I'm sorry Daisy, I'm poking you in the head now. She's like, um, she's on TikTok. Uh, my daughters, who I had up at the weekend, thought it would be a great idea if she had her own TikTok account, so that's what she now has. Um, so feel free to go and check out her uh, on TikTok. I'm also tempted, you will have noticed that I uploaded a short video um, the other day and this is called a YouTube short which is YouTube's sort of effort at taking on TikTok. So a YouTube short has to be filmed in portrait orientation and be under 60 seconds long. Um, and that was just a little clip of Daisy trying to get a branch off of a fallen tree, which she didn't manage to do, um, but she seemed to have fun 
trying and she was talk, chatting away to this branch. I don't know what she was saying, but she was saying something. And um, so what I might do is create a playlist, because I know there's quite a lot of people who follow the channel that like Daisy. So I'm thinking of creating a playlist and uploading the, well, basically the same videos that were on TikTok of Daisy in that playlist here in YouTube as YouTube Shorts. So if you could let me know what you think about that idea, I'd really appreciate that. Just drop a comment below and let me know if you think that's a good idea or not. I don't want to put people off because it's not a dog channel. This is a, 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 it's a lifestyle, an alternative lifestyle vlog channel about living off grid on a canal boat. But obviously Daisy is part of that life. So if you think that's a good idea, then please let me know. If you think it's a bad idea, let me know as well because I don't want to... I don't want to annoy any of my subscribers. I have cut my finger on a baked bean can. Oh yes, I did that yesterday. And it was only a very small cut, but it was quite deep and it bled. And it's the the, uh, the cut, sorry if um, you're a bit squeamish, the cut is quite wide. Um, really, it needs gluing. Um, gluing closed, so I was, fortunate that I've had some medic training in the past so I was able to utilize those skills and my medic knowledge to uh, administer some pretty crucial first aid on that um, but no seriously it bled quite a lot it was dripping all over the place and uh, and it just kept starting to bleed again I had had pressure on it I was holding it up like this for about 20 minutes and I think, oh yeah, that stopped. So I'd take off this bit of kitchen roll that I was squeezing on there, and it just started flowing out again. So I ended, <laughs> I ended up using one of Maze's hair bubbles as a little tourniquet on my finger, and that did the trick, um, and stopped the bleeding. So now I've got a plaster on there, which I've changed this morning to a, a clean one. But it's it's not bleeding at the minute, but it is open, and um, really it needs gluing closed. As we know, lockdown has now finished. At the end of the two weeks, the clocks were reset, if you like, on the two week uh, continuous cruiser rule. So at the end of lockdown, your two weeks uh, started again. You had two weeks and then you had to move the boat. So, I was planning to move the boat yesterday or today. However, I now have to be self-isolating because my daughter's come up at the weekend and we've now discovered that in her school bubble, in absence, it's my eldest, in her school bubble, one of her friends has tested positive for coronavirus. And Addison has had symptoms as well, so she's now had a, a test and haven't got the results yet, she'll be getting those back later today or tomorrow at the latest. So until I know her results, I have to obviously self-isolate, so I'm not going anywhere at the moment. Um, but I have discovered that Milton Keynes is a tier two area, not a tier three, as I mentioned that I thought it was in a previous video. So I can cruise into Milton Keynes, which is good news. It's just those plans might be slightly delayed again, um, but that's absolutely fine. It is what it is. Um, if the test comes back as positive then I will need to obviously stay put for two weeks as of Sunday so another 12 days or, or so no hang on what day is it today is it Tuesday or Wednesday it's Tuesday today anyway two weeks from last Sunday I will need to have uh, been self-isolating for so I'll have to get in touch with CRT if I need to do that, I haven't had any symptoms at the moment. Um, but Addison was feeling sick. She had uh, a cough. It was a very minor cough, however, it wasn't a persistent cough. But then, the symptoms in children are not as severe um, as in adults, are they? Um, so she's had to have a test. And yeah, we'll see what the results are. Anyway, I'm waffling on. I can tell I'm waffling on. So I'm going to stop. Uh, but that's it, I was hoping to get a cruising video done this week for you, obviously, of, of us going along. Um, but that's going to have to be put on hold, so a cruising video will be coming up when I can move the boat. Um, so do stick around and stay tuned for that. Don't forget, if you're on TikTok and you want to 
check out Daisy, there's a link to her TikTok account in the description below. She's got six videos on there so far. Some of them are old clips that I'd had on my phone already and some are new clips um, which you haven't seen yet. So go and take a look at that. Let me know if you think I should upload those videos as YouTube shorts in a separate playlist on the channel as well. Um, that would be interesting to hear your thoughts on that and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching this video and as always do look after yourselves take care of each other and uh, stay safe i'll see you in the next one cheers